everyone. This is Robert again from Adventure Brooks of Seattle. And the second in a series of videos I'm doing up here in the Olympic Mountains. Uh, my location is about 20 miles northwest of Shelton, Washington, up in the Olympic National Forest. And this final video is, well, <laughs> it's easier if I just hold up another sign for you, okay? And this is how it works. We're going to, I'm going to, and I'll explain. Okay, here we go. You can read it. Let me hold it up straight for you. Can you read that? Okay. It says how EU purposely trashed the Northwest biggest D.B. Cooper party in history. Now, how did he manage to do that? Now, EU, that's what we refer to him on this video. Well, in comments, you know, I guess I could, I guess I could put him in credits and then you'd know who he was, you know, thanking him. But I really have no reason to thank him. Now, uh, Eric is a guy who is... Uh, investigating the Cooper case and he's also the founder of DB Cooper Convention 2018 and allegedly another one coming up in 2019. And I haven't had any personal dealings with him but I've had enough dealings with him to know that uh, let's just say he could be just a little bit less than honest. Let's put it that way. Now now how this let me give you a little background. Now last year Eric decided to do D.B. Cooper Con 2018, and I was okay with that, I supported it, it was all good. I couldn't go because I was scheduled to see my mother-in-law for Thanksgiving down in San Diego area, so I wasn't going to go anyway. Anyway, um, I started looking at the website of one of the main speakers who was going to appear at this convention last November, and I see that he's supporting comments where they're calling uh, suspect Kenny Christensen basically a child rapist, a child molester, and they're not offering any kind of proof of this. They're just throwing it out there. And, uh, and some of the people that were actually commenting about this and making these really filthy comments were, um, were scheduled to appear at this convention. So I got a little concerned and, and frankly, I got a little pissed off. So I found out where the event was being held since I didn't really know how to get, it, er, get hold of Eric personally at that time. I, I went ahead and contacted the Portland Yacht Club, the spot where it was supposed to be held, and I sent them an email saying, "Dear gentlemen, um, you know, this is this is this is Robert from Adventure Books of Seattle. Could you at least talk to these people and make sure that they're not going to be saying these things in front of the public up there on a stage because it you know really isn't fair." And besides that, I had already spoken to every neighbor, every friend, relatives of Kenny Christensen, and the, you know he did. He did take in runaways once in a while, but, but trust me, folks, he wasn't going back door on them, and he was not raping them or having sex with underage kids. Let me just put it to you right there straight out. It wasn't happening, but these people just kept saying this stuff without proof. And I tried to offer up my view of things and how I had interviewed all these people and found out there was nothing to this story. Kenny was actually a fairly nice guy. And they wouldn't listen. They just came with the more comments. Well, the Portland Yacht Club, when they saw my email, they canceled Eric's program. They just, just from my email, they didn't even answer. I, I had pointed them to some of the comments on the internet. I linked it. And so they canceled. So Eric got another venue. Everybody was very angry at me. Okay, fine. And I decided I wasn't going to do that a second time at their next place because I figured, well, maybe they got the hint, you know, and I, I wouldn't have to do that. And as it turned out, everything was fine. So here we come again. Now we come to 2019, and I was contacted by uh, Brian Ward, the owner of the V23 Brewery in Vancouver. Now that's a place that names all their beers after characters and situations in the D.B. Cooper hijacking. Also by another guy named Jim Brunberg, who runs a place in Portland called Mississippi Studios, and he's also a co-owner co or something of that bigger venue called uh, Revolution Hall. It's also in Portland. And these two gentlemen came to me and said, hey, Robert, you know, the aerial store party for D.B. Cooper stopped a couple of years ago. Why don't we all, why don't, can you come up with some kind of idea so we can have another Cooper party and we'll do it in Portland and it'll be a real big deal and we'll sponsor and you happy, happy, okay? So I thought it was a great idea. And so uh, I drew up this plan. I got the cast of the TV show Brad Meltzer's Decoded. We're going to show up. Uh, some of them were flying in from, like, well, Scott Roll was going to fly in all the way from Maryland, and Buddy Levy was coming from uh, Pullman, uh, Washington State University, where he teaches, and Christine McKinley was going to come from Portland. And then I got a, I got a, a fairly major Hollywood star that just happens to be one of the producers on an upcoming movie on the Cooper case, and he was going to show up. And 
I made a short film about the case, and Jim Brunberg at Mississippi Studios made a short film, and we threw this whole package together, and then, uh, and then uh, Eric Yules was contacted and asked if he wanted to host this thing, and he said, yeah, I'd like to host, and Brunberg told him, okay, but we need for everybody to work together so we can have a great event, okay, so a month goes by, and Eric just doesn't respond to emails. He doesn't say anything about the event. He just ignores it. After about two months, uh, I tried contacting him. I said, hey, Eric, you know, are we going to do this or not? I got these people coming from back east. They're coming from all over. Um, we got a major Hollywood star coming up. Our, our, you know, we're going to pack the house, man. We're going to have a convention and a party all in the same building. It's going to be the biggest D.B. Cooper thing ever done. And he didn't even answer the emails. And then the next thing I find out, it was the whole Jim Brumberg had backed out of the whole thing. Something happened. I'm not sure what. But whatever it is, Eric now has got a website going saying he's going to do D.B. Cooper Convention 2019. And the location is not at Mississippi Studios. He Apparently he is, I have heard, that he has rented a theater in Vancouver, Washington. Uh, I think it's called the Kiggins Theater. He's Apparently he's going to rent this. And, but... But he didn't want to share the, didn't want to share the, the, I guess the stage with all these other people, which is really stupid because he was going to be the host, and yet he just blew it all off and disappointed everybody, and so that's why I say, um, let's see, how Eric Euless pur purposely trashed the Northwest's biggest DB Cooper party in history. See, okay, because he did. And uh, I have really little or no respect for somebody that does that, that accepts the job. And where people did all this work for months, and then since he's now the host, as long as he just doesn't do anything, he can make it the whole thing go away, no competition for him, and he can just rent Kiggins Theater out there in Vancouver and see if people show up. Okay, maybe they will, maybe they won't. Uh, personally, I, I already wrote it off. I'm going to San Diego again, and um, I would like to thank you for watching. But but it, see, if you have any questions about this, you know where to get a hold of me. Just contact me at adventurebooksfseattle at gmail.com. And I would like to thank you for listening. Thank you.